On today's video, I'm going to be installing a new wheel seal into this cover. Now, if you got a cover like this, and it's Gen 3, not Gen 4, I recommend replacing the whole cover, because they do warp. This one is a Gen 4. You can tell by the casting marks right here. That keeps the plate from, you know, actually warping due to heat and stuff. That is a very common issue on Gen 3 motors. That's how come they updated the back plate now you have the seal here this is the part number you guys want to pick you one up maybe on ebay or something that's the factory part number for this so let's go ahead and remove the old seal anytime you rebuild your motor or anytime you're at the back of the the engine you want to replace your seal so usually you can just grab it right here and it will come right out sometimes now this one is not, so that means we need to turn it over and tap it right here out. Now, you can use a seal drive kit like this, but the bigger size is ones. Uh, this is the normal size you would find on eBay and stuff. Uh, none don't fit it, so what you will have to do is get you a block of wood and uh, tap this all the way around till it comes out. And you gotta set it up too in order for it to fall out. So let me find something to set underneath of it. So I have another tool set. We will set this right here. Then we're gonna take this and set it. Well, it ain't gonna be in a way. Just set it right here. Take us another block of wood. This is just a two by four. Set it on the side here and tap it if you look close we are finally starting to move so let's just keep at it and eventually that seal will pop off another way you can do this I'm about to show you is get somebody to hold this or put it into the vise so it don't scoot and bend this seal over by tapping the edges here. So when doing this, you want to make sure to hit it at an angle, just like this, and not hitting it in here or where the seal sets, because that will damage it. But you keep hitting it till it bends. So we hit it some more, and you can see we finally broke loose. Let's go ahead and just tap it on the back now with it setting up and it should pop out just like so. This is the old seal. Always compare your new seal with your old seal. They should be pretty close. Us is. So I ain't too worried about it. This is a fail pro kit. I always urge everybody to buy the best seals they can afford at the time of doing the builds because you really don't want to cheap out special on seals now if you look in here you can take some brake clean or rag and uh clean this out that's what i'm going to do then i'm going to come back and we're going to install a new seal so we got that all cleaned up now brake cream and a microfiber cloth now you do not want to put seal come around that you can i urge you not to if you actually didn't nick it if you nick it a small skim of seal comb never does hurt anything I'm not going to be using silicone today. So, when installing your seal, make sure you put it in correctly. There are two ways it can go, especially this seal right here. The new seal is reverse lip type seal. So, that's something to know. Always check your instructions. Cheaper kits won't come with it. But usually the seal, if you look close, uh, especially this one, it will say this side out. Right here this side out it's right there. it goes in just like so and you will have to tap it in but you can start it by hand just like so and it about goes in on its own now we're going to take a piece of wood and tap it flush all the way around keeping it even so if you ain't got a block of wood uh, extension will work just as good probably even better if you use the extension is take it and put it here on these little notches and tap it with a hammer just a little then come over here 
tap with a hammer and tap with a hammer and just keep going around it to its seats you can see a seal is fully seated is even seated on the back side so let's go ahead and finish this video up. once you get it it look like this now you want to take your time and be careful with it you don't want to damage it the actual seal driver hefts out a ton uh they do make him gen 4 plates here updated versions they do make them with a seal already installed maybe that'd be the best bet for you if you don't want to drive in your seal but other than that that's how easy it is hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like drop a comment be sure to subscribe see you next time thank you for watching